Welcome and thanks for joining us. I'm here with attorney Robert Kane with the law firm Davis and Crump. And we're talking today about talc. And Robert, why are we seemingly hearing so much all of a sudden about talc? Well, Bill, let me first tell you a little bit about talc. Talc is a is the main ingredient in a Johnson & Johnson's baby powder and shower to shower products. Now talc itself is just a mineral. It's actually the softest mineral known to man. Um, and, and the reason it's making such headlines right now is that talc in these two products manufactured by Johnson & Johnson and distributed to millions of people, um, it's actually linked to ovarian cancer. Specifically, um, you know, women who have the, or actually use this product in a genital use um, are being diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Well, certainly there are thousands of women who probably use this product. How do we know there's a link between talc and ovarian cancer? Great question. And, and if you look back at the history, uh, the science of uh, this, this talc uh, mineral, it actually goes back um, to the 70s um, and then the, the 80s when there were some studies done um, where professors, uh, medical professors, were actually looking at ovarian tissue samples from women um, who had had uh, ovarian cancer. They actually had the, the uh, tissue removed. They were cut up into pathology and what they were finding, they were actually finding these talc particles, um, these talc fibers in those tissues. Uh, then you advance uh, a few decades into the, uh, the late 80s and you actually had a doctor um, at Harvard Medical School who did studies that actually linked this ovarian cancer, these talc part particles, specifically to women's use of um, baby powder and uh, the shower to shower products. So you, you've, since then we've had over 20 studies that link this, uh, the use of these two products, the baby, uh, the baby powder, Johnson & Johnson baby powder, and the shower to shower to ovarian cancer. And specifically, uh, the American Cancer Society has actually come out and they've said in some of their studies, there's a 30 to 40 percent um, risk uh, or chance that a woman who uses these, these products of uh, developing ovarian cancer. Wow, that's incredible. Now, what I hear you saying is that this information has been known for quite some time. It has, it has. And, and one of the devastating things um, about this, this risk and this specific injury, ovarian cancer, is the fact that it's, it's extremely hard to diagnose. And not only um, is it hard to diagnose, once it is diagnosed, it's usually quite developed. And which, what that means is usually it's, it's um, in a later stage of the cancer. It's harder to treat. And unfortunately, it usually leads to death for a lot of these individuals. Why just this Johnson & Johnson product? A lot of people, a lot of companies probably use talc in some way. Yeah, Johnson & Johnson is um, certainly the biggest shareholder in the market of these talc products. Um, you know, most people when they hear the words baby powder, they associate it with Johnson & Johnson. Um, and then you add on the fact that they have the shower to shower product that they market to specific demographics. They, they own such a large market share and they just dominate the majority of it. That's, that's the main reason it's, it's specific to these two products right now. And certainly Johnson & Johnson has to be aware of these dangers, correct? Absolutely, they, they absolutely are aware. Um, there are internal documents that show that they were provided studies um, dating back into the 70s and 80s, and certainly they have um, waged their own internal campaign to fund studies that uh, debunk these theories, as they like to call them theories, um, that ovarian cancer is caused by this talc mineral in their products. But as we've seen time and time again, the studies continue to show when they're independently done by individuals who are not you know, related to or funded by Johnson & Johnson that the talcum powder, um, this talc used in their products, the, the baby powder and the shower to shower, it leads to ovarian cancer. Uh, I said at the top of this interview that it seems like a lot of people are just now hearing about this and mm -hmm. so far there are no warnings on any of those Johnson & Johnson products. That's correct, that's correct. And that's one of the things, um, you know, you, you mentioned it's, it's become big news now. Um, and, and one of the reasons for that is there's been a trial, there was a trial recently in St. Louis, um, Missouri, and it, it, it resulted in a verdict of over $72 million. And one of the biggest things that, that they showed at that trial was this history of Johnson & Johnson knowing that there may be some link and knowing that information, they never put a warning on that on the bottle. And that's all they had to do. They certainly, they've put a warning on there that it may cause lung cancer um, from inhalation, but they've never even um, thought about or considered putting a warning on there for ovarian cancer. It's, it's amazing information. There are probably many, many thousands of women who use this product now or have used it in the past. What would you advise them to do? 
if if I were a woman and, and using this in a um, in a genital use, um, it's certainly something that I would stop immediately. The science out there shows that you, you should not do that. It it could possibly lead to um, ovarian cancer. As a matter, there there are studies that show 30, 40, 50, even some of them show 60 and 70 percent. Um, likelihood of it causing ovarian cancer. So certainly we would recommend you, you stop that use and certainly contact someone um, to, to look into the, to whether there's a chance that your extended long-term use may have caused your ovarian, your extended long-term use of shower to shower gel or uh, the, um, the um, shower to shower or the baby powder um, could be linked to ovarian cancer. And if there are women out there who may have been recently diagnosed with ovarian cancer, do they have any legal recourse because of this? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, certainly, um, it's not a fact that every single individual who uses Johnson & Johnson baby powder or shower to shower is going to have ovarian cancer or that someone who has ovarian cancer and uses those products, it, that's the actual cause of it. Um, but it's certainly possible that that was the cause. And um, if it was the cause, if we can show that um, through tissue samples, you certainly very well may have legal recourse. Good and surprising information about the dangers of talc. We're talking with attorney Robert Kane with the law firm Davis and Crump. Thanks for watching.